I'm going to be sharing with you organizations that are seeking employees from outside of Canada. And I'm going to be sharing with you the different job opportunities that they do offer. I've seen the comments and I've seen the emails that you're not finding the jobs out there. The ones that you're seeing, they're saying that if you're not authorized to work in Canada, do not apply. So I went ahead and I searched for the ones that, that are looking for employees outside of Canada. They are... Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time coming across this channel, you're welcome and my name is Pamela. On this channel, I make content around how to immigrate to Canada and lifestyle around Canada. If this is something that you're interested in, please feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. And for my subscribers and my returning viewers i want to thank you so much i really do appreciate you commenting sending me emails and showing me love thank you so much and i do appreciate your presence please watch this video this will show you how to get in on this website that will show you how to apply for these jobs that i'll be talking about today so guys, here we have Marar Transport Limited. They are looking for a long haul truck driver. And this employer is verified. And this job opportunity was posted on May 4. And they are still looking for three three persons. They have three vacancies. And they are looking for someone with permanent employment which is full-time and this is in the area of Saskatoon Saskatchewan the province of Saskatchewan right here the province of Saskatchewan they are paying $26.22 per hour and they are looking for someone or they're actually looking for three persons to work in this capacity and if you notice here, it says this employer has applied for a labor market impact assessment to hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skills shortages on a temporary basis. And the sh if you hit on the show job details, it is saying they're looking for someone who has a secondary high school graduate certificate and they will train. The responsibilities are professionalism in customer service, drive as part of a two-person team or convoy, load and unload goods, operate and drive straight or articulated trucks to transport goods and materials, oversee condition of vehicle and inspect tires, lights, brakes, cold storage and other equipment, perform brake adjustments. Perform pre-trip en route and post-trip inspection and oversee all aspects of vehicle. Perform preventative maintenance, receive and relay information to central dispatch, record cargo information, hours of service, distance traveled and fuel consumption, tarping and ensuring safety and security cargo. So all those truck drivers, guys, you're saying if you're not seeing any jobs out there that are looking for persons outside of Canada, here's such opportunity. Please go ahead and um, apply for this job. Remember, I have a video that shows you how to get in on this website. I will place the link under this posting. Credentials. They're looking for certificates, license, memberships, and courses, air brakes endorsement, driver's license class 1 or A, experience and specialization. They, for, um, for, for your license in back home, they will change your license over to match Canadian license and they will give you the equivalency. Um, they're looking for um, someone who has knowledge of driver logbook and your your the equipment that you'll be driving is trade truck and trailer tractor trailer 
and you should have a valid passport, driver driving record check, which is an abstract. That's what they call it here in Canada. And you should be able to do a drug test and it should be a good drug test. Um, that means there's no positivity on your drug test, but negative results. Um, work conditions and physical cap capabilities attention to detail handling every load physically demanding and sitting and you should be able to lift up to 23 kg or 50 pounds let's go in this era this is showing you that this employer has applied for a labor market impact assessment so do not worry about the lmia the job is already um covered with the LMIA once this employer is approved for the LMIA. So they'll be looking about the LMIA for you. Just apply for this position and get right in. Here it says, who can apply to this job? The employer accepts applications from Canadian citizens and permanent or temporary residents of Canada, other candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit. And if you are, if you want to apply for this job, click on, sh on show how to apply to learn how you can contact the employer and how to apply. So this, you should send your uh, resume by email to maratransportltdhrgmail.com. And this job is advertised until July 2nd, 2023. So please look, uh, go ahead and apply immediately before this job um, expires. The next one that I want to show you guys is um, the radiologist. For those persons who have experience as a radiologist, this job is also verified. They are looking for the Prairie Mountain Health that is in Manitoba. They had, they had posted this job on June 21, 2023, and they are looking for two candidates. They have two vacancies, and they're looking for permanent employment full-time. They say start as soon as possible. And this employer also applied for a LMIA to hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skills shortages on a temporary basis. So if no one in Manitoba applied for this position, or if there's no one in Canada apply for this position, you can go ahead and apply for this position and actually get through to come to Canada. So they're looking for an English speaker, a degree in medicine, dentistry, veterinary, medicine, or optometry. Experience is an asset, so make sure you have experience in this field. And they are looking for act as consultants to other physicians, and you should be able to pass your criminal record check, child abuse registry check, immunization records, adult abuse reg registry check. Um, and they are looking for persons who can work under pressure, tight deadlines. This employer says other candidates with or without a Canadian valid Canadian work permit can apply. You send your resume to this email right here or mail your resume to this address here. They had, they had noted a small instruction right here that says how to apply instructions. Here is what you must include in your application. Cover letter, proof of the requested certifications, and highest level of education and the name of institution where it was completed. This job is advertised until the 21st of July. So guys, here's another opportunity that you can apply for a radiologist. Here's another opportunity as well. I have a chef here. If you are a chef and you're unable to find a chef employer or an employer that is looking for a chef, please do look on, um, into this one. They had posted this on April 21st, 2023. Therefore, it says this means that maybe they're saying no one is applying, so they're opening it up for persons who are outside of Canada. And this organization is South All Banquet and Wedding Palace. This 
company is in BC, Vancouver, BC, and they're paying $27.50 hourly, and they only have one vacancy, and they're looking for permanent employment full-time, and it says starts as soon as possible. This employer has applied for a labor market impact assessment to hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skills shortages on temporary basis, and they um, are open to other candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit. And here it is that they need someone that speaks English. They, the person must have a secondary high school graduation certificate. They must be have three years to less than five years of experience as a chef. And the responsibilities are to maintain records of food costs, consumption, sales, and inventory, demonstrate new cooking techniques and new equipment to cooking staff, supervise activities of specialist chefs, cooks, and other kitchen workers, instruct cooks in preparation, cooking, garnishing, and presentation of food, prepare and cook complete meals and specialty foods for events such as banquets, prepare and cook foods on a regular basis or for special guests or functions, requisition food and kitchen supplies, consult with clients regarding weddings, banquets, and specialty functions, and they are asking you to send your resume via this email, southallbanquet.gmx.com, or mail your resume and cover letter to this address here, 8273 Ross Street, Vancouver, BC, V5X4W1. And this job is advertised until the 19th of July. So guys, hurry and get on. Apply for this position if you're a chef. I will be going through one more and I will continue to find more opportunities in my next video. I will continue to show you more um, opportunities that are looking for employees outside of Canada. So stay tuned. Remember to subscribe in the notification bell. So as soon as I drop my next video with the other opportunities, you are there to see um, this, this video and go ahead and apply. If you have a job that I have not called out yet and you're looking for that job and you're not seeing that um, on the job board, please do send me a comment or an email so that I will search for that opportunity and post it as well. So here's the last one that I'll be going through today and my next video I will continue. So they're looking for a dairy farm worker. This job is also verified and this was posted on May 12th. That means they're still looking for more dairy farm workers. And this opportunity is, um, this company is New World Dairy Inc. And this is in Newfoundland and Labrador. And they are paying $16 per hour, full-time permanent employment. And they need three persons. They're, they, ha they're, they have three vacancies and they also had applied for LMIA so you don't worry about LMIA they will look about that for you and they're looking for candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit and they are looking for someone who speaks English no degree certificate or diploma necessary they will train you and you will be able to work in an environment that is wet, damp, noisy, and has odor, and it's in the rural area, and you, you must be willing to relocate. And the task that you'll be doing is feed and tend animals, milk cows, clean stables, barns, barnyards, and pens. And you must go through a criminal record check, and they are looking for these work the work conditions and physical capabilities would be fast paced environment, tight deadlines, repetitive tasks, physically demanding, hand high coordination, ability to dis distinguish between colors, sound discrimination, standing for extended periods, walking, bending, crouching, and kneeling. And they are asking you to send your resume 
via this email address at resume at newworlddairy.ca and this job is advertised until July 12. Remember guys, you want to get into Canada, they will look about your work permit for you for this job opportunity. And once you have Canadian experience, you are more likely to become a permanent resident to Canada. So don't fear to come to these type of jobs. If you're, as long as you are qualified, you're, you have more opportunity than those that are not qualified. And if you're not qualified, you can still try, go ahead and try. You never know that if no one applies, they'll actually get you in on this um, job opportunity. So guys, here it is again. There are a lot of companies in Canada that they're seeking employees. They're not finding employees here in Canada. If you notice how long they have them out there from May, and they're still looking for persons, it means that no one is applying. So go ahead and apply. Once you have the, um, the experience, apply. If, For example, for the farm worker, if you don't have the experience, maybe they will take you because if no one is taking on that opportunity, they will reach out to you to get in on this job. And the most important part is that you're in Canada, you're working, you have work experience, and that is a plus for permanent resident to Canada. Watch out for my next video that will show you more or other job opportunities out there that employers are looking for and they already applied for LMIA, so they're more likely to get you into Canada quickly than those companies that does not um, have an LMIA under their belt. So there guys, here you have it, another way of coming to Canada quickly. So stay tuned for my next video that will give you other opportunities, other employees that are seeking employees to get here in Canada. And if you have a job that you're looking for, comment under this page and let me know so I can find those jobs for you so that you're able to apply as soon as I bring this out to you. Thank you for watching and all the best on your journey to Canada.